Good afternoon. It is Monday and drizzly here in Vermont. I wish we were getting snow. And I'm so grateful that I do what I do because I didn't have to schlep to work first thing in the morning for a really, really lousy day. And it's a perfect day to take the time and show you uh, how to um, put on some eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do my eyes differently. Uh, one, one one way, one another way. You can choose which way you like better. I had a, a client who requested I do this uh, during December, so I thought I would take advantage. So the first thing I'm doing is putting on the Mary Kay um, uh, eye primer, all right? And two things this does, it brightens the skin around your eyes and also really makes your eye makeup stay much better. So I use a concealer brush, which is good for creams and liquidy kind of things, and I go from lash to brow. Makes a big difference on how bright my eyes look, right? So I'll do the other one. I use the back of my hand, like so. Take the brush, the cream concealer brush, and again, go lash to brow. All right, beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to take a all over brush. This is the beautiful Mary Kay brush set. Okay, so it's got sort of a, a flat type of look and I'm going to use a, uh, a matte color on one eye and I'm going to go from my lash into my crease because I was fooling around the other day and I realized that I have, if I put a light color all the way into my crease, it, it makes the uh, lower lid appear to seem bigger. And I'm in my mid 60s and um, those eyes are getting a little droopy. So I used to have standard eyes. Now I'm turning into a hooded eye, all right? So with my all over color, I'm right there. Okay, and then with a, uh, a crease brush, okay, now that's my smudger brush. With my crease brush, okay, so you can see the angle there, all right? The tip of the angle is gonna go right on my brow bone. Actually, maybe I could go, no, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna start on my brow bone and above the crease, all right? Just to give that illusion of being higher right along there. And I'm gonna use a another matte color. Almost everybody looks better with a matte color in the crease area, All right? So I'm gonna use a color called hazelnut, which is, which is a nice neutral brown. Um, so here I go, above the crease, start in the middle of my brow bone and go back and forth like a little windshield wiper. I'm looking in the mirror here so I can see a little better. So I hope this is coming off decently. And then I'm moving the, my brush to the skinny part when I go to the inner corner. And that just gives my eye a little bit of more definition, okay? But I still wanna give myself lots of room. So I've got all that light right in there, okay? and the dark is right here, all right? So then there's a really great brush. I like I like Mary Kay's smudger brush so much. See how that goes? So this one I keep for dark colors and this one I keep for light colors. Now, um, this is, uh, you, the, uh, the brush set comes with one, but I always uh, suggest adding another so you don't have to constantly uh, wipe off one. Uh, dark colors to get your lighter color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to take the lighter smudger brush and just take a little bit more of that blossom color that I used up below and just put it right under the uh, brow line, okay? Just to give that a little bit more accent. Then with another dark color, I'm going to take um, I'm put my glasses on to take a look at what I want to do. I think I'm gonna take uh, mahogany, which is just a brown color. All right, so here I'll show you what it is. Mahogany is right there. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of that. 
And again, I am going to stay real high. And then I'm going to go down to the lash line. Then I'm going to take that original blending brush, the one I did the um, the original color, the, the Blossom, and this is a good brush to blend with because it's wider and will make the color blend into, I hate when you can see a color started in. All right? So it really, you can see that this part of my lid is really showing up nicely, okay? All right, so then the uh, then you would follow with a little bit of eyeliner. I'll use gray, steely. So that's, I love our little eye, um, eyeliners. They're creamy. They, oh, I guess I won't use steely. I gotta replace that. Okay. Oh, here's another one. There we go. Okay, so it's a mechanical pencil and it's creamy. All right, so here we go. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. See how that, I don't even pull it, pull my eye. Sometimes I do, but you really wanna stay right in the lash line. Make sure lash is thicker. All right, and then below. And you got a really easy eye. Okay, that's so that's one eye. Now, the second eye. Uh, you're going to take your skinny little smudger brush, okay, with a light color. And this time I'm going to use a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to take um, what, uh, our smoky quartz. So it's a light color, it's a highlight color. And it's right here, okay? So smoky quartz, that's going to go in the very inner corner of my lower lid. And I like the smudger brush because it's a little bit more stiff, but not too stiff. And that you can see that a lot of color can go right there, okay? Now with the um, all over brush, okay, right here, I'm going to do the hazelnut again. I don't know if I showed you hazelnut. So here's hazelnut right here. Okay, it's a nice brown. Another color that's really good is uh, Soft Heather, which is a grayish purple. And another really good color is Cashmere. Nice, you wanna stay neutral. If you wanna not make, make mistakes in your, with your eyes, you're insecure, use neutral colors. They always work. All right, so from the lash, so I did the little inner corner right there and the, uh, the middle to the outer corner all the way up to the lash line. So this one is, I think, the easiest color, the easiest way to do this. And if you don't want to do anything more than that, every eye is going to look better if you just do this. It's going to give your eyes just a little bit more definition. Now I'm going to um, go back to the smudger brush in the darker color. I think I'll still stick with mahogany so we can be consistent with the way the eyes look. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of an angle from the crease into the lash line. And give your eyes a nice lift. All right, now I'm gonna take that eyeliner again. And I'm going to follow the line that I just did. I'll color it in, and then I go along the lash line. And then I'm going to find where I, from the lower um, lashes underneath, I'm gonna find where I, I swept, swept down from the corner of my outer eye and continue that line. Just to give it a little bit of a cat eye, sort of smoky cat eye. So there you can see two, two different eyes and you can decide which one you like better. I hope this was helpful, Janet Cooper, so you can uh, see where to put the eyeshadows. If you have any questions, by all means, just private message me and I'll help you as well as I can.
Talk to you later.